Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we start to explore Northern Spain for the first time. We take our little van into the desert, go hiking through a canyon and show you what a typical day of van life chores looks like. If you haven't seen our van life journey so far, make sure to click the card in the corner to catch up. Hola from Spain. <laughs> We've just crossed the Pyrenees border into Spain and already it seems warmer. I made a coffee for the drive and I'm in jeans and I'm already really hot. So it's crazy how much the temperature has changed in such a short period of time. But what? we're now just going through the Spanish side of the Pyrenees and you can see loads of ski resorts that are closed at the moment, but it's still absolutely into our first issue with oh my god with the tap this is huge none of our adapters or anything fit so we can't fill up with water which is a little bit annoying as we've just used we haven't used it all yet but we just used a lot of water showering huh oh. what is Toilet. ours oh Oh God, okay. Well, we're on a mission for two things, water and internet. And so far we've been pretty unsuccessful. We're trying to upload last week's video. It's going up. We might be onto a winner now. Gonna go get some water. Hopefully. Last water was unsuccessful because there is a one inch. There's a one inch thread on the top and the biggest we've got is three quarters. God damn it. So now I think this one's half. <sighs> Remember that strong about it. <laughs> what is Chef Mitch making us tonight then? Dead boring pork noodles with some pepper. It's 31 degrees still at ooh, 20 to 8. We parked away from the sun so we got a bit of shade. But we're going to eat this and, and, and we also found these in the supermarket today. And if anyone knows me, Desperados is my favourite beer and the mojito is my favourite cocktail. And what would you rate it out of 10 though? Mm, probably at 8, maybe. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably give it, I'd probably give it about an 8.5. I quite like it. The first sip was a bit weird, but now it's grown on me and I'd probably, I probably would choose it. Yeah, we got them from the shop early and put them in the fridge, so it was really nice to have that when we first parked up here. But we're gonna eat and chill out. We've basically just been on a mad like off-road and drive down. We're basically in the desert right now. But the poor, poor van is covered in dust. I think she'll need a good old clean after. Oh, that's sick. Looks proper off road now. Yeah, we're gonna have a have an explore around here and see what else we can find. I wonder where they they did film it. Game of Thrones season six, wasn't it? Yeah. It was filmed here. 
this is where we're going to have to live when we've got no money after this trip. <laughs> what, in one of them caves? Yeah. Only in the 1960s. Caves which are home to different generations in the village into the 1960s. Yeah, that's not long ago. Wow. Pretty cool. Much how loud you oh how sick of a music system sound in here. <laughs> <laughs> this would be my gaming room in here. Look. Five point one surround sound. Monitor across there. <laughs> right, yes. So you're living in here but you've got a surround system. Yeah. Imagine just being able to build a house like this and then not having to pay anything for it. Because it's just... I'd go through the effort of that to not have to get a bloody mortgage. <laughs> this must be the kinky room. Yeah, there's a chain on the floor. Quality, aren't they? <laughs> they got a nice view. Hey, what? That's a pretty large size, isn't it? <laughs> You're ridiculous. This is as cool as when I went to Zion. This is very similar sort of landscape. To where? Uh, Zion National Park. Isn't it more orange? Yeah, it is, but it's very, very similar. Just like a canyon like this. This is awesome. I mean, for three euros as well. Yeah. Ah! That is the cringiest thing I've ever known in my life. Oh! Oh, I see. Ah! It is camper van galore on this little car park. We've arrived in San Sebastian and we're actually going out for the first night. I on smell the, nice. On the town, which just put some aftershave on for like the first time this whole trip. Yeah, yeah, I've put some on before. But yeah, we're in San Sebastian and this is the parking spot that we've got. But funny enough, it's free on the weekend to park overnight, but not on a weekday, so we're gonna to pay tomorrow morning from nine. Gonna go get some food out because um, you're not allowed to camp, but you can park and sleep in your car or van. So by camping, you can't have anything outside, like chairs or anything, not that you'd be able to anyway. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it's a good excuse to go out for some food. So Spain has proven to be a little bit more difficult to find um, some nice parking spots. However, we've still made it work and um, Mitch is cooking us a... Chicken pasanda. Chicken pasanda. We're cooking inside the van, which we don't like to do too often because it um, starts to smell a little bit. But we've just got to get used to that now, haven't we? I'll have smell of curry, so it's all right. Okay. Well, uh, I'm excited for this because we are hungry. Mitch is a little bit upset because it's his first time making rice on the stove and so uh, if anyone has any tips let Mitch know <laughs> because let's see it's not soup looks like the rice pudding oh no okay so we've decided today is a day that we need to sort this van out it's been over two weeks now since we've been living in it and it's just getting into a bit of a state, isn't it? It's disgusting. Yeah, so, I mean, this is our pile of uh, laundry that needs doing. And we've been putting it off because we wanted to make sure we had enough weight <laughs> to make it worth Let it. Let me show them the dust. Yeah. There's just dust everywhere. It's got inside all the doors and it's just starting to get a bit ridiculous. Yeah, and it's making us feel gross because the van is gross and also we're getting to that stage we think where the stuff that we're not using that we need to just it's getting cold yeah, yeah so that's the plan for today literally just a day of jobs Mitch thinks it might be a problem with the battery so we just pulled over what do you think it is I wonder if the fuse has popped so Mitch has noticed that something's wrong because 
the battery is reading at 12.9 and we have been driving for about 20 minutes and it's not charging up and we're not getting much solar at all today so we need to make sure that that's working like properly yeah you what? That's okay. Hi, uh, I've just got a technical question about a power hub that I've got installed in my van. I've checked the voltage going into it and that's going up from the alternator, but nothing's happening from the power hub. I didn't know if you know any reason why that would be. Yeah. Just quickly explain what. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite. It's not. It's technical, but it's not. Basically, I've got a solar panel charging the battery hub that we've got in the van, and um, one sec, there's a lorry coming. And I've noticed when we've been driving, the voltage for the battery hasn't been at a charging voltage. So, as I presumed, it's not been charging while we've been driving. It's just been using the solar to charge the battery up which isn't ideal. So I've just spoke to the guy on the phone and he's told me to unplug the solar panel and drive for a bit to see if it recognises that the voltage is there needed to charge it. So that's what I'm going to do now and then give him a call back. But, oh yeah. Yeah, that's the, is it going to focus? That's the one that we've got. It... And the guys there are like really, really helpful. We'll try that, we've got about was it like nine minutes of driving anyway to get yeah. to the other place? I don't know how well I explained that or not, but yeah. I have no idea. It's proven today with how overcast it is. Yeah. We can't just rely on But if solar. people have any questions about it, when I've got more time to actually articulate what I'm saying, then it will uh, I'll more than help out. So what is going on? What is the plan now? So basically, in layman's terms, the starter battery is knackered and the leisure battery is trying to stop stealing power from that because it knows that it's got something wrong with it. Mm -hmm. So, um, And what have we got in the UK, Mitch? A lifetime warranty on a starter battery that we can't collect. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and what, which battery is he recommended? An X-Side. And guess what we've got here? An X-Side. <laughs> so, we're here now anyway, we're going to wash the van, fuel and everything else now that we've sort of got to the bottom of it. It's a tight squeeze but we're underwear we're going to wash the car. Yeah. And it didn't end up costing that much, did it? No, it was 133 euros. They put like a, well that would have been like a 10% discount on it for some reason. No idea why. Oh well, we'll take that. done it's clean on the outside and in it's been dusted but it still needs to declutter it's at 20 past one at the moment and i'm just a bit wary of having to go to a laundromat to do our washing so we're going to head there now and there's a car parking space and then we want to actually declutter uh, everything in the cab and stuff like that so we're going to do that when we get to this next place so at least the washing can be on The van is nice and clean again, and now it's on to the next task of the day. The whites. I don't care about the whites. Oh, I care about the whites. So it's been a little while later, and we've had some lunch. And Mitch has gone back to get the washing, put it in the tumble dryer, and then he messaged me saying 
it's only 15 minutes so you're just going to wait there which was basically him getting out of cleaning out the van so now i'm just waiting for him to come back because then putting the clothes away will be another task in itself <laughs> You've been gone for that long, I've finished. Well, we're a trick because everyone's sat out drinking wine and we're doing washing up. I know, I've told you, this lunchtime wine thing is something I want to get on. It's not good. We just had our first conversation with someone that spoke English, who <laughs> was English, and yeah, a couple just came and parked uh, a car away from us and we got chatting to them because we've noticed the, the registration and they've just given us loads of recommendations we just kind of gave them a our um, ferry ticket and they've just written loads of recommendations of places to stay and where to go along this coast we think we're going to stick to this coast a little bit longer now aren't we Mitch? Mm -hmm. so um, yeah we're gonna we're gonna carry on putting these clothes away and then see what we do want to do the past few nights We've been bad and just parked up and then just worked on our laptops. So, yeah, we need to do a bit more adventuring. We found a scratch and it's our own doing. It's covered in it now. We're just gonna have to accept that she's gonna be battle scarred by the end of it. More stories. Oh yeah, it got scratched by tea bags. That's a good story, isn't it? <laughs> We've decided to go for an exploration mission. Fresh sheets. Oh, that's all the jobs done for today. <laughs> right, time for Stranger Things and chill out. I think we deserve it. Why'd you have to go so close to your face? No one wants to see that. Are you sure? <laughs> you know what you look like. What? Did you know? Was it on YouTube where he used to have the thumb and someone would draw a face on its thumb? No, you I don't. Like, you look like the thumb person. 